Hey guys, this is Psack Matt here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make six cool LEGO custom guns, five of which you can make out of simple LEGO parts you probably already have in your collection, one which needs a small modification to look really, really good, and then also I'm going to be showing you how to make a super cool military drone. So let's get right into it. Alright, so first up we have my version of the classic AK-47 here. Now, briefly, I just want to apologize if this is similar to anybody else's uh, versions of it, as I know a lot of people have attempted to make AK-47s out of LEGO pieces like this. I promise you I did not copy it off of anybody. Uh, so just quick disclaimer there. Uh, so this is probably a little bigger then I would like it. It's a bit unproportional to a minifigure as most of these guns are going to be just because of the size limitations of LEGO pieces. But overall I think the brown pieces on the top or the back and the front for the stock and the front part of the barrel there look really really good. Um, and it's a very recognizable gun just like that. Alright let's move on to the next. Alright, so this next one is a bit of a uh, sub-assault rifle slash sniper rifle variation. It's got an extremely long barrel, you can see with this pin piece, and then the Star Wars antenna piece. Now this is a building style that I just learned about, sticking the Star Wars antennas into a pin like that, where the part that goes into the clone trooper helmet slides into the pin part up top there. And I really like that how this looks, so I wanted to include one of these guns in this video. Otherwise, simple Star Wars medium gun with the clip piece for the magazine. And overall, I think this is a fairly easy to make gun if you got the parts. And it does look pretty good with all sorts of minifigures, military or Star Wars. So the third gun here is yet another variation on the clone or just Star Wars blaster rifle here. Now I've made a lot of these in previous videos and I'm sure you guys have seen tons and tons uh, of other variants. Uh, but I really like using this gun for my military customs and all sorts of other minifigures because you can add pieces all over like this pin piece up front. This mega large uh, cylinder magazine no I just butchered that so <laughs> feel free to correct me in the comments down below and I but I do think this gun is a very great gun to start out with if you're just trying to make some simple variations of military guns for yourself So this next one is a, another RPG variation. Now again, I've made two of these in videos past where I've used slightly different piece orientations to come up with a similar design. This one, I think, has a slightly better tapering on the back here, fanning out to the front. And then for the projectile, or the rocket-propelled grenade itself, I just used a one-by-one -one cone with the black um, ice cream cone piece there and then uh, another one of those clips as the handle so like the first one this is a little unproportionately big but it is very recognizable and I would highly suggest making one of these for your military custom alright so the second last gun in this video is this super awesome sniper rifle here. Now this is the one where you do have to cut off this small piece from the front of this pirate rifle, I guess, that allows you to add the lightsaber on. But if you're willing to do that, I think this looks like a really awesome sniper rifle with all sorts of minifigures. It's got this kind of steampunk look with the elastic band holding the scope on and is a really fun and interesting build if you're willing to cut off that piece and I know a lot of you aren't so if 
you aren't, I totally respect that. Um, but if you are, I highly suggest making one of these cool sniper rifles here. So the last gun in this video is this massive double barreled machine gun here and I thought I needed to add this on because this is a really fun build that I made um, with these two barrels and it looks really cool. You can add it onto your, your World War II airplanes or your, your tanks just add this really big beefy awesome looking gun. Now these two ammunition boxes on the side can be removed and you could add some pieces like this as quasi shields on the side here and I think that also looks really really good with your minifigures. I have it mounted right now just on a bit of rubble debris here but you can also make some fairly simple uh, stands to put it on as well and if you're looking for a, a really kind of uh, sci-fi maybe slightly out of the ordinary gun to add to your big heavy vehicles or just to make for an awesome turret sitting where, somewhere I'd highly suggest making something like this. So the last thing I made for this video is this super cool drone here and I wanted to make this because drones are becoming more and more popular and more widely used in all sorts of different environments. So this is a uh, quadcopter drone. You can see with the four propellers there on the top. Now it's not perfectly symmetrical and I'm sure that totally irritates some of you that like that perfect symmetry, but it, to get the propellers evenly separated apart, I had to make them on the corners, which I think does work out if you're okay with that. So for the gun, it's just using a Lego uh, screwdriver uh, stuck into one of those, one of these little uh, joystick pieces, uh, the bottom half of that. And then for the stand, it's just a green plate here with a small translucent stick sticking up to the, this little clip piece on the bottom of the drone, which allows you to position the drone at many different interesting angles if you want to put it in a display or maybe you're doing a stop motion video with it. Uh, so that wraps it up for all the things I've included in this video. Please comment down below if you weren't sure how to make these or the pictures weren't clear enough for you. Also, please comment if you have any suggestions for guns or custom minifigures you'd like to see on this channel. Otherwise, God bless. Have a great day. This is Psychomad, signing off.